Hello, everybody. Uh, we are so glad to be here today with the first live chat uh, for the Multiconfort Student Contest uh, edition 2020 in Paris. Uh, my name is Slavon Mishpuna, I'm from saint Gabin, and I'm here with Nicolas uh, Laurent uh, from the mun municipality of Saint-Denis. And we are going to tell you in the next uh, 40 minutes about the context uh, of the task, uh, the uh, city of Saint-Denis and, and the uh, surroundings of, of the area, as well as the components of the context. Uh, before we will start, a couple of technical uh, questions uh, and issues. First, if you are <coughs> asked to authorize the flash uh, please do so. It will ease uh, your navigation and uh, the uh, uh, image on the screen. And secondly, uh, you should see two screens, one with us and the other one with our presentation. You, by clicking on the medium bar, you can adjust the size of, of uh, both uh, according to your wishes. The other important thing is that uh, at the bottom uh, left corner, of your screen, uh, you should see a Q&A button. And I could see that uh, a lot of you have already figured out how to post the questions uh, uh, with regards to the task that, that uh, we are going to present. We will keep them until the very end of uh, this uh, live chat and we'll try to address them all uh, as uh, we go afterwards. So without further delay, I would like to ask Nicola uh, to start with the presentation describing the uh, urban context of Saint-Denis. Thank you very much. So going to the presentation, um, I work for the municipality of Saint-Denis and I uh, work on urban planning as a general thing, including schools, uh, businesses, um, commercial, uh, cultural centers, so not only planning as a, a concrete building, but also thinking about how the city is going to develop through uh, ages. Uh, you can see that uh, our area, Saint-Denis, is north of Paris, uh, the capital city of France, and it's uh, uh, surrounding with the suburbs of Paris and the big transportation uh, network that is n now currently developing. Uh, we have a very big and strong dynamic urban development. Uh, it's been uh, encouraged since the 1980s after we had uh, the industrialization collapse in France and especially in that kind of suburb with lots of factories that shut down during the 70s. And uh, nowadays we have a very good demographic growth. Uh, we have politics uh, with projects that are not only for one city but for nine cities. And we are trying to implement that dynamic through um, uh, being a uh, force task and a political force in the Parisian surroundings. So nowadays, nine cities and uh, you got also 430,000 inhabitants in, the, in that uh, area. You can see on that um, map here, uh, the southern part of uh, the area of uh, Saint-Denis and uh, the nine cities surroundings, uh, which used to be very industrialized. And you can um, imagine uh, railways, um, uh, highways, uh, the canal, and uh, also the highway uh, surrounding Paris, which have always um, determined the city with different parts and, and a very lack of link in between. Uh, the area that is uh, now interesting for us and for you is on the left and uh, up corner near the canal and La Seine. Uh, this 
uh, explains how the political vision has emerged since the 80s uh, using the institutional tools. It is quite important to um, address the fact that politically each city hasn't uh, has tried to make a team with other cities. And as these are popular neighborhoods and uh, uh, quite poor neighborhoods and also just near the capital city, which always has had a very strong political power, it was very important for them to share and to develop that team with a project, an urban project linked to a political vision. Uh, that project, you can see again, is uh, a story of links because here on the left, you can see uh, the industrialized area with only highways and big spaces for factories. And on the right is the urban project with a new city, new roads, new uh, buildings, new um, uh, natural areas, and most of all, new links in between the, the, uh, the places. And nowadays, it means that we have 40% uh, of uh, uh, the area for the nine cities that is now in urban renewal. And uh, this dynamic uh, gets into jobs, more than uh, 40,000 jobs in 10 years uh, that we have uh, uh, more. And uh, also for the inhabitants with a dyna dynamic uh, demography which is very clear. You can see uh, it's getting down during the 70s when we have this um, industrial collapse and uh, loss of uh, jobs in France, in Europe, in Western world, and especially in the popular and, uh, and uh, very work area of uh, Saint-Denis. And after uh, the 90s, it's getting back to growth. And maybe some of you know that in 98, we had the uh, Football World Cup, which uh, used to be a big, big thing, not only for French uh, team uh, uh, winning the cup, but also for our area, because we had the stadium, we had new uh, public transportation, and we had new interest for uh, constructors, builders, uh, to get within this vision that was uh, being implemented since the 80s, like I said before. Uh, going to Saint-Denis nowadays, uh, and especially uh, the, the area of La Confluence that we are interested in today, uh, you can see that uh, it's um, uh, La Confluence is a link between town center, uh, the canal, La Seine, and the Playel area, which uh, will uh, uh, host the Olympic Games in 2024. So this is very important. Like I said, we had the World Cup before. Now we are going to have the Olympics. It's Paris Olympics, of course, but it's also Saint-Denis and Parisian suburbs Olympics, which is very important to have new projects and new uh, dynamics. And this area that we are working on today is uh, an important link between the Olympic urban area and the old city center and further the um, a very popular uh, neighborhood with public housing. We have uh, forces, opportunities, uh, and the public transportation uh, transport network is uh, very important. You can see we have RER, it's, which means uh, uh, the, the Paris area uh, fastest uh, uh, way to, to, to move. We have the Parisian metro to go inside the capital. We also have in development uh, the uh, Grand Paris Express, which is a new link within the Parisian area but from suburb to suburb, a bit different than what we have before from suburb to the center of the capital. And also inside Saint-Denis, we have new projects. Uh, we had within eight years, uh, three new tramways developed. Number one, number five, number eight. You can easily find that on the internet. 
but also we have to work and especially on the area of the confluence uh, on isolation and links between neighborhoods uh, urban links but also social links because uh, like i said we have uh, the seine we have the canal we have the highways we have the third most important uh, railway of uh, the world uh, coming from the north of paris to go to the north of france and europe which means we have uh, 1000 trains every day uh, going uh, on uh, inside the city at that place and especially you can't go from one side to another which is of course a big problem within a city if you just want to reach a school if you want to reach uh, a cultural place or the marketplace or anything inside the town center we have a uh, very interesting things uh, the eldest european gothic uh, building which is uh, our uh, cathedral where are buried uh, all the kings of france and queens uh, we have uh, the most uh, the biggest marketplace in all the parisian area which uh, means about 1000 100000 uh, people coming every week Uh, for that marketplace we have a big university we have the stade de france the great stadium we have uh, also uh, different places uh, the theater and near uh, the place where you are going to work uh, le 6b 6b which is a place with uh, lots of artists and uh, art craft uh, about uh, uh, 300 people are working there and they try to develop their own business within the, the culture Uh, business but also to be uh, social uh, uh, activists inside the city uh, we have a strategy for that big center always story of link trying to implement new links at the source to go uh, more easily to the stadium and to the big uh, post industrials industrialized area Um, of uh, la plaine means meaning we have to to cross a highway we have to cross a canal then we have to cross another hi highway one of the highway is going to uh, change a lot uh, thanks to the olympics and the big projects to 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 make it more easily to cross and more urban in a very residential area uh, we have also in that area south uh, an urban project we have an urban project two urban projects in fact on the west where we have to cross first the canal then the highways one is urban renewal inside uh, the eldest buildings of town and the other is the project of la confluence we are going to to see that again afterwards and we have on the north uh, urban renewal of a public housing sector uh, to make Uh, the link easier between the cathedral area and the popular public housing area just northern of that uh, very important uh, city center um, we have a strategic reflection about uh, la seine which uh, uh, tries to match uh, political and technical vision along uh, the river meaning we have a uh, Uh, 13 cities working together uh, from the two sides of la seine from two also uh, um, regional areas institutional areas from also different uh, political sides and trying to have something to build together in order to be able to defend it and to finance it uh, with the national state uh, for an example you can see here Uh, is the Olympic Village area uh, on the, the the right side? Uh, the island is another city called Lille Saint Denis, and on the left side you have another institutional area and other cities. And we're trying to have a common vision for all these uh, places and and development, trying to be cooperative instead of uh, competition. This is. Uh, Uh, the Playel area, just south of uh, the Confluence area, you are going to have to work on. Uh, Playel is the place where we are going to have the Olympic Village, but also 
les lumières Playel, which is uh, linked to big big competition uh, created by the Grand Paris Metropolis. Uh, we have also a new bridge across the railways. Uh, it's uh, about a 200 million bridge and is uh, trying to be also a bridge for buildings. And on that particular place, we're going to have uh, four uh, metro and uh, Grand Paris Express uh, rail uh, coming, number 13, 14, 15, and uh, 16, which is going to be a big, big change to link this particular area to all uh, the Parisian area, center and suburbs together. Coming now uh, to Saint-Denis Confluence, uh, there is uh, the train station, which is uh, quite important. It's a city uh, center train station. And uh, as you can see on that picture, uh, the area is mostly now for factories, enterprise, and we wouldn't call that uh, urban or um, uh, lots of accommodation for residential people meaning very few uh, flats, of course, but also very few roads, very n no, uh, no commercial, no uh, marketplace, uh, not even a small shop, uh, no cultural place either. So only um, uh, things to for the stock and uh, uh, big, uh, big enterprise and no possibility to go from one side to another of the railway, which is uh, means that urban development and also physical daily moves can also only be from north to south and south to north. But the train station links to many places in about 15 minutes and especially in the center, the very center of Paris within 15 minutes. Now going to the urban projects, like I said, you have uh, uh, two two projects uh, already created. The uh, in yellow is the eldest area project, trying to be renewing uh, the eldest building without uh, changing uh, the the city and its uh, accumulation and its quality and also its uh, history. And you got in red. Uh, Neo Cité, which is uh, already, uh, which has already begun, with about uh, now I think uh, 300 uh, house built over there, and now we are trying to figure out uh, where the school are going to be, uh, where the cultural place, where the shops are going to be. We have answers because we have the 6B, like I said, we have already some shops coming. Uh, we have the tramway that is going to move new station in front of that area, uh, just at the limit uh, between uh, the red and the, the yellow part. And we already have a school in the yellow part, in the purple part, sorry, the purple part, uh, which uh, is uh, designed for the kids in the red area and also has to grow to to accept also the kids for the purple area which is uh, nowadays uh, being discussed on how much um, house flats we should uh, uh, build according to, to to also political changes that uh, um, has uh, uh, that questions the density of the city should it be very very dense or should we try to make it a little bit uh, less dense in order to have more uh, public spaces, but it's also more money to spend for public uh, and uh, also uh, to, to, to face the big uh, change, which is uh, climate change uh, for the next decade. You can see we would like to have uh, uh, um, on the... the South, you have a, a, a big park, which is going from east to west. And uh, it is quite near uh, La Maison Coignet, which is uh, the place uh, you're supposed to work on. Um, this slide is about 
distances. You see very short distances, but when you're walking there, uh, you feel like it's uh, very, very long. It's not made for pedestrian nowadays. It's made for business. It's made for big trucks. And this uh, is now uh, uh, getting to change. Um, so, uh, from an urban and landscape point of uh, view, uh, we are trying uh, to have the view to rediscover the river. I guess in uh, your cities, if you have a river, it's the same. Most of the cities have uh, developed with the river um, being used for uh, economic activities. And the city itself, where the people live, would not be turned on this particular landscape, but more uh, uh, inside itself with the city center. And now we are trying in many cities uh, across the world, not only in Saint-Denis and Paris, but I, I guess in most uh, big cities with an urban vision across the world, trying to address uh, the, the landscape and um, the accommodation that is uh, a river. Uh, meaning fresh air, getting more and more important now with climate change, and also uh, getting new place to uh, discover the nature, new place to be with uh, your family, new place also to move from one place to another, uh, meaning you can't only use uh, your car, but also maybe walk over there, maybe take your bike to go to the public uh, and collective transportation system that we are uh, developing uh, for two decades and uh, and uh, and uh, continuing that way. So trying to find these views over the river from east to west on different places. Trying also uh, to move from one place to another. And like I said, moving means on that particular place from south to north and north to south. Distance are not very big, but we have to work on the on the on the public spaces to make them uh, more acceptable for families, kids, um, cycling, and uh, we with also uh, um, um, trying to share public space because we certainly need to have cars and to have trucks going on the ways and, and especially on the uh, side of the river we have two goals which are not easy to match together is at one time nature cycling families but also it's a uh, it's a, a, a road that links the capital city our city different places in which is very strategic so we can't just say no trucks we have to also have trucks over there and share the space. Um, again, uh, the, the landscape and especially around Maison Coignet, your, uh, your site. Some uh, topics about uh, how we, we would like to, to work on uh, uh, different steps. I know this uh, is already a question that uh, some, some of you have and need to answer to, to work. The site itself, as you can see, it was uh, a factory. The Coigne site is uh, quite uh, uh, symbolic because it's uh, Mr. Coigne is said to be uh, one of the guys that invented concrete uh, in Europe. So uh, it's uh, also a very important historical part, uh, which is not our uh, history, but uh, all the cities and all construction businesses uh, history together. But also, you see that nowadays uh, the site is quite abandoned and we, we still have the house, the factory doesn't exist anymore, and we still have La Seine, the river, which can uh, make something very good because you don't really see it now, but the Maison Coignet is uh, very high, so you can have very good views and you can tell a story with that place. Uh, I guess this is the end. 
different places, more precise, and uh, I think we're good to go. Yes, thank you very much, Nicola. Uh, I'm going to tell a few words right now on the uh, task that we have prepared. So I guess uh, you can all understand that we were how to a certain extent captured by the uh, vivid uh, history and the most recent development of Saint Denis area. And uh, the couple of things that, that were striking were the proximity of the, the capital city, uh, the uh, really uh, very dynamic environment that is changing so much, and also this uh, historical uh, objects located uh, on the plot, and the uh, impulses, the injection of uh, a new capital and the new growth uh, opportunities that were linked with the uh, uh, construction of Stade de France and uh, what was already mentioned, the projects of the uh, Olympic Games in Paris in 2024. So if you want to uh, be in line with uh, the previous uh, task of the competitions a, a bit about the climate. It is a temperate uh, European climate. Uh, we have uh, here some historical data about this. It is both necessary to heat during the winter time as well as unfortunately more and more cool down during the summer time as the cooling degree days are getting uh, uh, bigger in number uh, every year. It, uh, it's enough to say that this year we have the episodes with the temperature reaching over 40 degrees Celsius, which was unheard of in, in, uh, the, in Paris, in France, and in Saint Denis as well. When we are looking at the location of uh, the plot, it is uh, on the south of uh, what is being called the Confluence area. Uh, right now, the area between the central uh, railway station and uh, our actual plot uh, has been uh, witnessing the, the uh, residential development for a couple of years. And uh, here we are reaching this limit of uh, the so far development. And you could also see the proximity of the Olympic Stadium itself and, and the Olympic uh, places as well. Nicola has already mentioned the history of uh, Coigne, Maison Coigne and, and the plant that was there. It was the place where for the first time the uh, aggregated and molded concrete were used for the residential construction. That was precisely the Maison Coigne which was created in 1853 and it was also the, the kind of uh, prototype to demonstrate that this technique is possible to be used in the residential buildings. And later on, it has granted uh, the family of Coignet uh, uh, a real good uh, development of their business linked with both residential and infrastructure use of uh, their invention. And this was to a certain extent a trigger, something, an inspiration for us, because that was clearly to nearly 200 years ago that was the future, meaning that, that the reasoning behind this development were what we can find today. So, first of all, how the role of individual can change the history and the construction process, how to make with the more affordable, available construction housing uh, uh, that is reachable and within the reach of everyone, and how the innovation in the construction business can bring the higher efficiency of the process, re <coughs> bring the things like reuse of industrial waste and so on and so forth. We can right now be, you know, uh, a little bit skeptical about the concrete deserts that are being created, but in certain moment in time, it was certainly a step towards the better living condition. And this is the ongoing challenge for us each and every year. So with with what we know today 200 years after that what triggered our idea of the creation of the task so the task as it is described it is sustainable construction development park in saint denis combining residential educational and recreational function it sounds pretty complex but as you have heard nicola the the uh, uh, quality of the neighborhood and the reality of the municipality is quite complex 
it's not only the desire to have the green space for families and, and inhabitants of the village, but also the economic reality that the city has to be able to uh, simply have money to, to finance the project of this kind and also provide the necessary functions like the educational functions. That is why this marriage of, of uh, the different uses is proposed here. So <clears throat> the plot itself uh, is uh, uh, reaching out from nearly the, 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 the board of the river uh, up to the, the, on the western side to the railway station and also covering uh, what used to be the former uh, Quagne plant plot and the uh, neighboring plot on the uh, northern side. And here we want you to, to think about and propose this program that encompasses these three functions, but also takes into account the preservation of the existing buildings that are classified as the historical monuments. So if you are looking and going here one by one, and this is probably something that you could already find not only on, on the Google Maps in reality, but uh, in one of the documents that we have posted already on the website, you have a 3D visualization of this plot uh, where you could find the information about the elevation of uh, the, the Maison Coignet over the, the, the level of the Seine River, as well as the uh, interesting differences in the Hyatt uh, between uh, the different parts of this plot. So when we are going to the program, uh, let's uh, start with the most important one, which is the program for the uh, uh, residential function that should uh, um, create approximately 250 to 300 uh, apartments and uh, that uh, these apartments should obviously uh, follow the principles of the multi-comfort concept with the respect to thermal, uh, visual, uh, acoustic and indoor air quality comfort as well as uh, safety. And for this part, you are supposed to propose the, this design solution for that, but also we will require that this part is in the bigger scale or the smaller scale uh, developed and your strategies how to address these different comfort dimensions is explained. The parallel <coughs> function to this is this education uh, part that uh, the city somewhere within the limits of this plot need to uh, accommodate the program for the nursery and primary school, which we have described in the, the big lines uh, around its functional uh, necessities and uh, that should give you an idea about the scale and the, the uh, uh, how much space uh, we would need for that. And for this, we want you to propose the architectural solution that will correspond with the uh, residential part and will enable uh, the overall master plan of uh, this uh, plot to be uh, a welcoming, livable part and also the green part of uh, uh, the city. Coming back to uh, the historical buildings of uh, the site, we have two of them. Uh, one is Maison Coigne itself, so, so this uh, three-story buildings that is closer to the uh, <coughs> uh, river, and then a set of the uh, storage buildings, the old storage building from Coigne's factory, which is more in uh, the center of the plot. So they are uh, respectively uh, <coughs> marked as P1 and P2. And as they are the uh, historically, the, the objects which are classified as the historical monuments, uh, there is very little which we can do with them in terms of uh, the uh, changing of their uh, uh, look and function. The, the primary need is to preserve the, this, them, so, so to, to avoid the further degradation, but also to propose the new function and maybe, if necessary, some addition, allowing it the contemporary use and the more public function for, for uh, the uh, inhabitants of the uh, uh, Saint-Denis. 
And uh, within the documents that we have published on, on, on the uh, competition site, you will find the uh, iconography of the photographs from outside and inside uh, of uh, these buildings. Unfortunately, we do not uh, have the, the current uh, plans, uh, only the, the historical ones uh, that should give you the uh, uh, vision of how this uh, plot uh, and how these uh, uh, buildings are organized. So coming back to the summary of uh, the task, uh, this is uh, the Sustainable Construction Development Park in Saint-Denis, combining this three function uh, where uh, you need to uh, uh, find a place for the urban recreation area the mix of the residential and educational function with the focus on the residential function in terms of explanation how the comfort principles are addressed in, in this part of building. And at the same time, propose the program of the preservation of the historical buildings which are on the site and which can create and give the character uh, to this very place. These are the outlines of, of uh, the uh, competition task. You have uh, definitely more details in, in the uh, PDF uh, summary that we have published uh, on our website. And now we can uh, take a look and uh, try to address uh, some of your questions that you were posting during the uh, uh, competition. So, uh, uh, the first one, we will go simply one by one, uh, was asked, can we get a proper explanation of the future extension planned and in and around the site? So uh, I, I don't know whether you want to add anything, Nicola, but I think that this presentation has given you already an idea on, on what is planned in the nearest neighborhood and, and uh, what are expectations, and especially this nearest perspective uh, until 2024. Maybe just to, to add something, uh, to add figures. Uh, like I said, we, we, we have discussion nowadays about density, but we could say that the uh, uh, purple part uh, that uh, we, we saw on the map before uh, could be uh, between 400 and 600 uh, new houses. And just south of that, uh, there could be 500 houses more. Okay. Yeah. Uh, then uh, the next question is actually a set of uh, a long list of uh, questions. Uh, pretty specific. So, uh, what is the height of the basement floor, uh, the height of the first floor of commerce, and the height of the residential floor? Uh, then uh, there is a question about the parking and basement combined with the technical floor. Is it possible to provide horizontal contours to display them on the general plan? Is there a metro stop near our territory? So uh, we will try to, to uh, also address these questions uh, on Q&A uh, uh, part of our multi-comfort website. But if we are uh, to answer it fast, uh, you might have noticed on the plan that the metro station right now is 500 meters from uh, the site. Yes, if, you, if you have to spot uh, the, the uh, station Gare de Saint-Denis and also the station Playel, which is uh, south, a little bit further, but very important if you want to understand the, the public transport uh, system surrounding. For the other question, I would say we have also the rules. Yes, and, and from the top of my mind, what I think we have already mentioned in the document is that uh, the minimum height for the uh, apartment is 2.2 uh, meters uh, for the living room. And uh, if I remember correctly, the minimum height for the ground floor was uh, above the three meters. But this, to be perfectly sure, we will uh, post on, on the uh, website. Then we have a question about uh, what kind of commerce, floodability and groundwater, a, de a detailed school project. For the commerce, uh, the thing is uh, to have residential commerce, I think, and to uh, be 
uh, aware of the fact that the city center, the historical city center, is the place where we, you have the big commerce uh, area. So the idea is not to have new shops and commerce that would make people come from everywhere in the city or in uh, the Parisian area, because we want these people to go to the city center and uh, and especially uh, the historical center. So it's more residential. Floatability, you have to be aware of that problem. Yeah. I think, uh, as, as we have mentioned, for, 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 for example, for Maison Coignet, thanks to the elevation, that's already uh, a good situation. However, the, the nearest surrounding needs to be uh, analyzed. We will move to the next question, which is, uh, are we allowed to incorporate the historical buildings into the new architecture, or are they supposed to remain as they are, with no additions? So, as far as I uh, understood the uh, law with regards to the uh, historical monuments in France, the additions are possible. The character, the, 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 what is not possible is the destruction of the existing That's architectural it. substance. So, what exists needs to be preserved. Uh, if you propose something to, to make it more in, in, in the spotlight and, and to create a better function and additions to the existing structures, that, that is uh, acceptable. Uh, if the next question which we have is, if some of the buildings would be exposed to the noise from the railway due to them being in a very close proximity, would that be considered an error? We'd be trying to maximize the acoustic comfort due to the various means, but being re realistic, it is impossible to reduce the noise to 100%. Well, uh, we are definitely uh, planning and looking forward to have one of the next live chats uh, on the acoustic uh, insulation strategy. This is true. This is very challenging. But also the, there are there are uh, the technical and uh, solutions and and uh, in not only in the scale of the urban planning but also in the scale of the building that could help us mitigate the impact of of uh, even such a busy rail as we have in Saint Denis having more than thousand uh, trains uh, a day so uh, that's that's going to be a true challenge here. Then the question was, uh, are we allowed to add functions such as retail or restaurants as a part of the mixed use of housing, or are we supposed to stick to the functions laid by the competition task? Okay, well, the golden rule is uh, the stick to the task uh, because uh, the task is uh, created as such. I think what uh, Nicolas uh, has uh, already said the main idea of this uh, uh, part is to that rather the green area would be the magnet bringing people there than the commerce. This obviously does not exclude <clears throat> the possibility of, of putting some small uh, neighborhood commerce uh, and, restaurants. and restaurants into the program. However, what you have to, to keep in mind is that we have this density uh, parameters uh, for the plots. So, so uh, making sure that uh, you will stay within the limits that we have given you uh, for the uh, uh, use uh, of uh, the plot and the uh, reference between built area and the green area. Then, uh, the next question which we have is, are we allowed to propose an extension of the railway station such as park and right area for the inhabitants? I'm not 100% sure I, I really understand the question. Uh, because, well, the railway station is, is 500 uh, meters from uh, uh, the, the plot that, that, that we have. The, there will be obviously the pedestrian access to it, but we cannot, uh, or it would be hard to imagine to, to have the direct connection and, and the, the really functional connection between one and the other. 
so I, I think uh, the shorter answer would be not really. How many apartments per floor would you like? Which apartments, one room, two room, at what percentage? Well, here it's, it's up to you. The only, <clears throat> the only uh, requirement from the regulations was that 60% of the apartments should be bigger than 60 square meters. And uh, then that we should uh, create between 250 and 300 apartments how they will be laid out on each floor and so on. That's for you to decide. How will the new rule, how will the new Rue Coignet influence the buildings on the south? Will any of them be dis deconstructed? So I believe that that is the, the question of, uh, we have two existing uh, routes, uh, which are south, uh, going from south to north on the south-north axis. And in the plans, there is the, the, the third one yeah. planned to be closer to the railways. Yeah. The idea is that uh, uh, whenever we have an opportunity to relocate the enterprise uh, in order to, to keep the economic activity and the jobs that we need, uh, we will try to uh, make uh, that public space and new uh, streets. Okay, uh, we have the next question, which is, uh, can we propose to make use of the river canal and railway and the link it to our site? Well, that is the, the existing neighborhood. Obviously, the, the, as, as Nicola has said, the, the question of opening and using the, the potential of the river is uh, the pending question, so, so it's uh, uh, to be addressed. I think uh, in, in the development plans that, that we have seen, there were also the question about the connection to the other side of the, the, the railway track to be proposed uh, some, uh, in, in some way uh, in, in, in this field. Maybe just to add, the, 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 because the question is about the canal itself, the, the big part is how you are going to finance uh, the path that goes uh, through the railways. Yeah, okay. Uh, what is the minimum and maximum number of bedrooms we can have? Uh, uh, I think that the smallest thing is the studio, which is the, like the, the uh, one room uh, apartment for the, the students or youngsters that, that is accommodating everything. The maximum number of, of bedrooms, uh, I'm not sure is ever uh, uh, mentioned. However, I think that the, the presentation has given you a spirit of what kind of population uh, lives uh, in uh, Saint-Denis. So we can hardly speak about the very luxurious uh, and, uh, uh, you know, uh, rich population. Uh, so uh, the uh, apartments with uh, many bedrooms uh, would rather be in a category of dreams than reality. So you need to weight it uh, appropriately. And I see that uh, our time is, is uh, just getting uh, close to the end. So one last question. There is a small historical building next to P2 on the left uh, in close proximity known as uh, La Maison de Trois Carène. It's not marked black, but it is. it has a historical value. Are we supposed to keep it? Well, uh, congratulations for being uh, a good investigator and uh, finding out. Uh, I believe the, 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 this little construction, which used to be the guard's house, is something like three by three meters. Uh, so uh, we didn't want to complicate uh, the life of everyone by uh, making it uh, also as the part of the task. Once you have spotted, when you, once you have it on your drawing, obviously it will be uh, additional plus to, to maintain uh, the historical value of uh, this building. However, you may also see on, on your plot the other contemporary constructions re related to the bus uh, base which is there or the, the industrial activity uh, which uh, was linked uh, to the existing uh, business on the uh, Kwanye plant. 
this definitely have no historical value, so it is supposed to uh, disappear in the new plan. We have a couple of more questions, but I think that uh, we will uh, uh, just uh, make sure that we list them all on our website, as well as the uh, information on the next live chat that will take place already uh, uh, next year after Christmas. Uh, so we would like to thank you for today.